Hello, world! I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another live edition of the Locker Room Daily Report, or TLDR for short. It's your daily dose of me, really. It's about an hour long, and I do this every weekday live, specifically for my patrons, and you can see some of them here. I run this through at least once every TLDR when I press the button. I thought I pressed it. I, I, I did press it, as a matter of fact. It was, it was playing, but it doesn't seem to want to play. I'm having problems here with iOS again. Maybe what I need to do is turn it around and do this and switch platforms. Should I do that? If I'm having a problem with iOS, should I switch platforms? I could do that, you know. I could, especially given that today's topic is an unboxing of the Priv, the BlackBerry Priv. Right here. Uh, after I'm done with this, I'll be diving into today's Perillo picks. It will be this haul. Behind me, these these Hall O Pops, a Hall O Pops. I've recently become, um, I would say, a pretty hardcore Funko Pop collector, a pop vinyl collector, I should say. And it's taking me a while, but I'm I'm specifically focusing on uh, the Star Wars variety of pop vinyl because there are so many that I want that I would love to welcome in, but you know I kind of have to limit things. So that's this week's haul. Uh, and then after that, I'll be uh, answering tech questions with the community of patrons who are watching live. And then after that, I'll be talking about today's tech news. So. Thank you for joining. If you are watching live, uh, this was dropped off by Desmond from T-Mobile on Friday. I appreciate it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked it up outright. Now, I'm not going to say that I, you know, made iOS mess up here at the beginning of the video intentionally. That just happened. I mean, software sometimes has problems. I did my iPad review last week. So on the front of the box, it says very cleanly, privilege, privacy. So I am privileged to be able to open the BlackBerry Priv. Thanks again to T-Mobile for providing this as a review unit. Uh, and as a matter of fact, um, Desmond said as he was dropping it off uh, that I was free to do anything I wanted with uh, the BlackBerry device. And I had a conversation with Eric, who is not here this morning. We wish him uh, the best today. Uh, he, he'll be back hopefully tomorrow, uh, was looking after a, a conversation. By the way, I'm, I'm trying to open the the tape there on the back. I'm, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, he was uh, looking to switch from Windows Phone. After the uh, conversation we had last week, it was a part of a topic in TLDR. I can't remember if it was a public topic or not. But uh, it's made him think that uh, he's ready to switch back to Android. And I said, oh, really? What what Android device in particular? And he mentioned BlackBerry, of all things. And, I, and he had no idea that I had the Priv. And so uh, he... Uh, he went, he went with another BlackBerry, I guess not as specked out as the Priv. Uh, and uh, I said, well, what about the Priv? He says, yeah, that was one that was on my radar, but I don't. he didn't know he, if he was going to be able to get it. By the way, there's the inside of the box. Very clean outside. I am privileged. Uh, Eric is going to be getting this BlackBerry device. And uh, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy that it'll go in good hands. Uh, so that's what's going to happen with uh, the Priv. So anybody who asks who I'm giving it away to, that is the answer to the question. Let me go ahead and take that off so that you can see the full chat room. That's live.perillo.com, by the way. This is the Priv, the BlackBerry Priv. We have tapered edges. I like that. That's kind of neat. Uh, I'd assume a speaker grill on the bottom, headphone jack, uh, just standard uh, micro USB port. Yes, micro. I almost said mini. Can't wait for all that to become USB Type-C. Uh, then we have uh, screen protectors. I'd assume that uh, they're peel-awayable peel away peel because they have tabs. That is very convenient. So they thought of that. This tab will take it off in the back. This tab the front. Uh, up here, you, you've got an explanation that you've got your uh, SIM card tray there with the ejector hole. And then uh, an SD card slot. So expandable memory. And then it explains everything there. There's the BlackBerry symbol, which I happen to like. I, th I find that symbol to be uh, nice. It's elegant. It's clean. I like clean things. I cannot lie. Uh, so let's show you what's in the rest of the box, in case you're wondering. We have the instruction manual. Yes, an instruction manual. Uh, I can't remember the last BlackBerry that I tried, honestly. It's been a while. Uh, since I had tried a BlackBerry. So this is another reason why I'm very happy to be able to uh, to boot it up for the first time. Oh, let's see here. Complimentary 12-month direct support from BlackBerry. Wow. That's impressive. I mean, how many other phones do you know uh, that come with this kind of card? And we've got the tray in which sits the Priv. I will boot it up, by the way, for uh, for one time. I, and uh, that's, that's about as deep as I'm going to get. The review 
is going to fall in the hands of Eric. Eric is going to do the review, and then we're going to get together and record that review for the BlackBerry Priv. Uh, but that's after he's been using it as his primary phone, which I thought is a pretty amazing way to, to do reviews. Not many people do that with uh, phone reviews. Uh, you know, actual real world, world usage, real world usage. My tongue is tied. And now it is coated with coffee. Comes with a, an ejector tool. I seem to collect these, uh, which is nice. It's always nice to have another one on hand. Very clean, very elegant. Then we have the SIM card. We have information about, wow, this is, this is new to me as well. No wonder the smartphone has awesome power and speed. It's got the heart of a dragon. So a Snapdragon processor. I've never seen an insert for the uh, CPU in a, in a phone. That is different. I'll give them that. That's kind of neat, though. You know, it's, it's 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 neat to see that. I mean, it's it's not useful. It's just wow. It's just bringing awareness to Snapdragon for those who otherwise would not have known. We've got some. Uh, I'm assuming rules and regulations. Oh, here we go. Terms and conditions. This thing is thicker than the instruction manual. No one ever reads it. T-Mobile handset recycling program inserts a uh, SIM card. Then you have the ever important USB adapter with a BlackBerry symbol so that you know it's associated with the BlackBerry device. Sometimes it's important to use the same AC adapters. And then we have uh, the USB cable. This is the rest of the box. I just, you know, there's something that is beautiful right there. You know, you see that? It's like it, it can make like a diorama. For Lego minifigures, don't you think? Like you, could, you wouldn't be able to fit a pop vinyl inside, but uh, little little minifigures because it's just so clean. What what are you gonna do with the box otherwise? And it's got clean outside edges too. Remember, this is the inside part. So, like, what, what can I do with that? Well, I'm giving it to Eric. What could he do with that? All right, let's boot it up for the first time. I am going to take the protectors off. I'm assuming Eric doesn't care. He is very happy, uh, by the way, to be getting this. And uh, I'm going to take the protector off the lens on the back. There's the camera there. Now, the power button. I'm guessing that's it. It is. I feel a vibration. That's good. I love vibrations when my phone boots up. Uh, powered by Android right there. Now, that, that is a shocker for people who uh, grew up with BlackBerry. I did not. Uh, honestly, it, just, it 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 was never really something that uh, that pulled me in for one reason or another. Um, and then over the years, as I became you know more and more interested in Android and iOS, BlackBerry was still there, but it wasn't as interesting to me. It was fascinating, you know, any technology and new software is fascinating to me. Uh, but then when they ported BBM to iOS, it, you know, I was like, well, I don't I had, I didn't have any friends on uh, BlackBerry Messenger, so that wasn't uh, necessarily a, a huge uh, deal for me. So this is my fir my first Android on BlackBerry, and I, I don't mind uh, if I minded anything outright. I it's th I like the design. This is a kind of a neat design. It's almost like I could stand. I can. Oh wow, look at this. I can stand it up. Whoa, that's cool. I love that. I really do. I, I, I love that. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't vibrate itself off, but, uh, you know, like it you know, gets a notification and scoots, but that's cool. Um, I like that a lot. <laughs> I really do. Cause there's so many times, you know, I have a smartphone and I've got to lay it flat on its back. Cause I can't necessarily stand it up like that right now. That's cool. I like that. There've been other smartphones that have done that. So that's not a first thing, but I, that's, it's a little bonus, right? It's a little bonus and the speaker coming out the front there. Um, it's still booting up, I guess. Uh, the uh, uh, the other thing I was going to point out that I, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a fan of. I don't like when companies put their logo up front like that. I I didn't need that. This is this is no no. This is good enough. This this is this is this is sufficient. Number one, it's on the back, and number two, it's it's a clean logo. I like that. I like that a lot. This not so much. Um, it's still booting up. Do I need to press something else? Hang on, Liz is texting me. Chris, what phone did you have before iPhone? That would be the Samsung Blackjack 2? Blackjack 1, I can't remember. I had a physical keyboard. I couldn't let go of my physical keyboard. That was something that, you know, BlackBerry fans were, were all about, too. All right, let's see here. English, United States. It's phablet-sized, seemingly. I'm, I'm using one hand, obviously. Let's skip the uh, insert SIM card. Uh, Smooth-ish animations. Let's go ahead and skip. Can I skip the network? Oh, no, because I, I can't. I can't skip the network. I have to insert the SIM card. I don't know if it's activated, though. 
I don't want to have to go through this entire process only to find out that it's not activated. Well, this is an unboxing. This isn't a first impressions. I'll, I'll save my first impressions video uh, for tomorrow, possibly. Uh, I can I, I can do the first impressions for the patrons, possibly. Um, because I, I, I otherwise i got to go through this whole rigmarole, and I, I don't necessarily know if this is activated, because I wasn't told it was activated. And I'm not going to put a rogue device on my network. It's just not something that I do. So this was the unboxing. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to sip my coffee. And I'm going to move on to a very exciting Perillo Picks, the series of pop vinyls behind me. Then I'm going to answer tech questions from the community that are tuned in. And after that, I'm going to be talking about today's tech and geek news, including the uh, Twitter storm that I fired up inadvertently on uh, Sunday. Saturday. It was crazy. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, like, get people upset, but I did. I do that frequently. It happens. Okay, so anyway, uh, patrons, continue to tune in. Everybody else, well, you can head over to chrisperillo.com to become a patron. I'm back! I completely forgot about the most important thing in the BlackBerry Priv, and that would be the physical keyboard. And uh, it was there all along. And uh, <laughs> I forgot to slide it out for you. It's there. I haven't used a physical keyboard in God since uh, the first iPhone. That's how long it's been. Some people love this thing, though. You know, they just they thumb type like. I don't think I could do this again. I'll try. I will try. But as I was saying, I, I don't really have the the process to to go through it right now during the live broadcast. Uh, wow, there's a physical keyboard right there. The thing that I'm sure BlackBerry fans are screaming, "How could you not know about the keyboard, dude?" I I said very clearly. Very I plainly, it was, here's the, kudos to BlackBerry. It was hidden so well, I didn't even know it was there. That's impressive. I, that is very, very impressive. Like, and, you know, you, you intentionally have to slide it out. It's, it's with intention. There's not a lot of give there. Hopefully it'll still have that sticky, you know, flock. And then, you know, it sticks in that position uh, indefinitely. Uh, but uh, you can hear it clacking up and down. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes in, in maneuvering mechanisms, they'll lose that uh, efficacy over time. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, yeah, and look at the backlit keyboard. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, that's impressive, I gotta admit. So uh, thank you, chatroom at live.perillo.com, for pointing out the fact that I totally forgot the keyboard. I'm, I know, Wicked, I just, I, I showed them. You don't want to use a physical keyboard? You don't have to. But if you want to, you can genius. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, Get more through chrisperillo.com.